Okay, so we talked about universities, what the best university is to get you into medical school. But the real question is, what's the best program to maximize your chances of getting into medical school? Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. My name is Emmanuel. If you don't already know, I'm a first year medical student at McGill University. If you're new to the channel, it's nice to meet you. Uh, please make sure to like and subscribe. And without further ado, let's get into today's video. Okay, so although I don't believe there's a best program, surprise, there are advantages and disadvantages to each program uh, prior to applying to medical school. And I think one of the programs that stands out the most is the QUARMS program that's offered at Queen's University in Kingston. And Ontario students, please forgive me if I'm mispronouncing it. Uh, but essentially this program is a unique program that's offered at Queen's uh, and it allows for 10 high school students uh, that were top of their classes uh, to enter a two-year pre-medical program essentially that offers them a guaranteed admissions to Queen's University. And um, they also have uh, reserve spots for people who I uh, self-identify as black or indigenous. So if you're part of that uh, underserved and underrepresented population in medicine, then I highly encourage you to take a look at that program. The second program uh, that we're gonna talk about today is again from Queen's University and it's their health science program. So this is the first health science program to be offered completely online. So whether you're from another province doesn't really matter because you could do it remotely. And from what I understand, they have an in-person uh, version of this program as well. So this program essentially prepares you for a, um, a, a future job in the healthcare setting. So it's basically an intro to medicine, uh, whether you're interested in medicine, nursing, or other kind of healthcare professional programs, uh, I definitely think it's one that will uh, very much prepare you for medical school. So speaking of nursing, I think that's another excellent program uh, prior to entering medical school. In fact, many of my peers are nursing students. Uh, well, were nursing students, they're now medical students. And I think nursing is a great program because there are so many similarities with medicine. And through nursing, you get that clinical exposure, which is which will help you greatly uh, prior to entering your clerkship years in medicine. In addition, the content that you learn, the theory that you learn in nursing school is very much uh, related and similar. There's a lot of overlap between nursing and medicine. Uh, I actually tutor a nursing student, so I could say this, um, that I have compared what, uh, what she was learning versus what I'm learning, and uh, there's so much overlap. Of course, everything that she talks about in her like anatomy and physiology courses, talking about the different organ systems I cover in medicine and I've covered in greater depth, but nonetheless, it's a great um, introduction to these organ systems through nursing school. So I think it's a great uh, background to have prior to entering medical school. Since we're talking about foundations for medical school, I think the one of the greatest programs that you could go into and in no way am I biased, it's not like I completed a degree in biology or something, but uh, biology and biochemistry and all those uh, related biological sciences uh, is arguably one of the best foundations because not only does it give you um, anatomy, physiology, but it also talks about, you know, I, I've taken courses in immunology, vertebrate biology, microbiology. So I'm getting a little bit of everything in medicine. Um, I understand the biochemical pathways in digestion, for example, when I see them, because I've seen them, I've done, and many of us have done glycolysis and the citric acid cycle and oxidative phosphorylation, so on and so forth. But it's in biology that you really solidify these concepts and then you revisit them again in medicine. Um, so, and of course, biology is one of the four uh, categories uh, in the MCAT exam. So having a degree in biology will greatly uh, prepare you for that section of the MCAT. Speaking of MCAT preparation, another program that you can look into is psychology and neuroscience. In fact, I would argue that most of my peers in medical school are psych or neuroscience students, uh, especially neuroscience, a very prestigious program, very difficult to get into. Uh, not bashing on psychology because it's, the psych students are incredible. Um, uh, and of course, that's a category in the MCAT, right? So if you have that kind of background, then that's gonna uh, add to your um, uh, MCAT studying as well as uh, give you a head start on 
any kind of brain anatomy and physiology and cognitive cognition and whatnot. So um, there's definitely a benefit to having a psych degree. Of course, you can complete a psych degree as a Bachelor of Arts, and it doesn't really matter if it's a Bachelor of Arts in Science, because if you apply and do a Bachelor of Arts, then you still have to complete your science prereqs and you're basically on the same page as a BSc student. So don't worry about that. Finally, we can't miss uh, and not talk about the other health professional programs. I'm thinking physiotherapy, occupational therapy, athletic therapy, kinesiology, whatever you want to call it. Uh, those are excellent uh, undergraduate and very popular undergraduate programs as well because those students have the best understanding of anatomy and physiology prior to entering medical school. And in fact, uh, some PT students tell me how the anatomy exams, which are like really difficult uh, for most medical students are a breeze for them because they've become masters of anatomy prior to entering medical school. So again, a strong biological background uh, focusing on anatomy and physiology if you're from a kinesiology or a related field. So it's an excellent program as well. And of course, I basically listed a bunch of science programs. And if I didn't list the program that you're in and that or that you're interested in, that doesn't mean that it's not one of the best programs for medical school. Like I said at the beginning of the video, there is no best program for medical school. You don't need a science degree to go into medical school. If you're interested in music, if you're interested in law, if you're interested in uh, mathematics, uh, business or engineering, I have, there are a couple of peers uh, of mine that are engineering students. So what, what's that? Uh, that that shouldn't stop you. Um, if you complete a non-science degree and feel like you, you developed a passion for medicine after taking, you know, the science prereqs and whatnot, then go for it. Yeah, you might have a disadvantage because you don't have the biological foundations that a, a person with a, a bio or a bio related degree has, but that doesn't make you any less competent. Uh, than your peers, especially if you get into medical school, it's because you're more than capable of handling the medical workload. So all of this to say, apply to the program that you think that you're gonna excel in. Just like I talked about in, in the school video, apply to the school where you think you're gonna excel in, apply to the program that resonates with you the most. And that program is the one where you will maximize your GPA and ultimately maximize your chances of getting into medical school. So once again, I want to thank you all for watching this video, for liking and subscribing. Your constant support motivates me to continue making all these medical videos. If you have any suggestions or comments or questions, just leave them down below. And of course, I'll catch you in the next one.